Hey guys, Civil here with another tutorial for all of you. Uh, so I've seen a lot of confusion about the new fertilization and plowing systems in Farming Simulator 17. Just a quick little overview of everything. We'll take a look at the help menu quick and then I'll show you some actual practices. So if you look here, uh, it says in the help menu that each time you fertilize a field it yields 30% more crops. So if you fertilize it three times it yields 90%. So then in addition, if you plow your field, it yields another 10%. So if you do all of that, you fertilize three times and you plow uh, once every three harvests, uh, you'll end up yielding an additional 100% more on your crops. So it will double your harvest. Uh, so it is definitely a very important aspect of the game. You need to be very aware of it. So that's a very quick and broad explanation of the system. Uh, and also here it says that you can fertilize your field with a spreader, sprayer, the manure, spreader, slurry tank, and oil, oil seed radish will work as fertilizer as well. There's a lot of different equipment in the game that you can use in order to fertilize your fields. Um, so first off we're going to talk a bit about the different methods that you can use to fertilize. Um, many of you will probably already know there's the fertilizer spreaders and there's the sprayers. Uh, new to the game this year there's also weeders. Uh, this is the cheaper weeder and this is more expensive weeder. Uh, the reason this weeder is more expensive is you also have the option to be able to seed in Oilseed radish and grass. You can see in the bottom right it has the option for grass and then there's oilseed. That is the reason that this weeder is so much more expensive than the other one. Additionally there is the manure spreaders, the slurry spreaders. Um, if we take a look at the shop here you'll see we've got the sprayers the fertilizer spreaders, the manure spreaders, the slurry tanks, the weeders, all of those you have as options for fertilizing your fields. Uh, but the way that the game is coded, all of those options apply the same thing to the ground. It does not matter what kind of fertilization you do to the ground as long as you do it. Uh, but the key thing to keep in mind is you can only do it once per growth state of the field. We can pull up the menu here. Um, let's see. So the composition, fruit types, and growth. Um, so you'll see here that there's a bunch of different... I'm just going to keep the growth up. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of different shades of green. Uh, those indicate your different growth states in the field. Uh, so you can only fertilize once per time of your growth state. So you, for instance, you can fertilize here, then you have to wait for it to progress into a darker shade, something like this, or this, uh, and then you can fertilize again. You cannot fertilize multiple times in the same state, it won't do anything for you, and if you try to have a helper do it as well, they will immediately finish their task. Additionally, uh, something new to the game this year is in the seeders, there's some that are capable of fertilizing while you're sowing, um, which this Amazon condor is the biggest seeder in the game, and it is also capable of fertilizing. But there, on the other hand, there's also seeders that are able to direct seed without cultivation. Uh, the um. very first starter seeder that you get in the game uh, on Goldcrest Valley is a seeder that is capable of fertilizing. Um, I'll just show you these quick. Um, if you look at the bottom right you can see that there is seed and then there is also a fertilizer. I'll drive up to this little seed platform, it will open up and I can fill up my seed. And go over here and fill up my fertilizer quick. All right, and as you can see, I'm now for filling up with fertilizer. 
Um, one weird thing in the game is they do switch around depending on how full each of them are. Go ahead and stop that there. So, as you can see, this field over here is not cultivated at all. Um, and this cedar is not a direct seed cedar, so I'll go ahead and show you uh, that it actually cannot plant into this field. Go ahead and turn that on. And we'll go ahead and go. Um, and as you can see, it's not actually doing anything. My fertilizer and my seed is not going down at all. Um, and that's because with a lot of the cedars, you need to cultivate first. Um, so if I go over to this field here, that is already cultivated. And just quickly, we will look at the map uh, with our fertilization states. Um, as you can see here, this field has absolutely no fertilizer on it. And if I go and begin seeding on here, you can see there's a change in the texture a little bit. It's a bit harder to see this go around, but I'll go ahead and just hire that as a worker. And, yep, oh, hire him as a worker and I will pull up this map here and you can see now that there is a fertilization state on the soil um, as he is this worker is seeding we go over to this other seeder you can see that this one uh, actually does have the ability to fertilize as well as uh, direct seed uh, I don't think most of them act do have that capability though. Uh, this is one of the higher end models of cedars, so it does have a lot more ability than most of them. And as you can see, it is actually seeding onto the field. Go ahead and stop that there. Um, but if we look at the sewing machines here, you can see like the Amazon Condor. You, if you look at this here, this will tell you that you can put seed in it and fertilizer. Um, as well as this larger one, you can only put seed in it. So that is one th the thing that you'll want to look at when you're purchasing these seeders. Uh, if you look at the starter seeder that you get from Gold Coast Valley, you see that it has seed and fertilizer. Uh, whereas that one also does. But if you go up to here, um, this is the probably one of the more common steps up from the starter seeder. But you'll see that it cannot self-fertilize, but it can directly seed. Um, it'll t give you this little information here. It says it offers the possibility to seed directly where no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. You will definitely want to keep that in mind when you are purchasing your seeders. Alright, and now I will show you uh, how the seeders work. Um, currently in the game, they are designed to only fertilize on the first growth rotation of the crops. So right as the crop is coming up out of the ground. Um, I'll go ahead and go to an open area that I've already set up and I will show you this cedar quick actually planting the radish. Okay, I'm gonna show you quick uh, before I actually show you what seeding does or what weeding does. I'm gonna show you quickly the capability that this weeder has. Uh, if you look on the information bit on the controls you can turn on the weeder um, and I have it set to be planting oilseed radish and I'll go ahead and do that and as you can see, it's changing to the cultivation state. Um, so this piece of equipment actually has a bit of a dual purpose. You can use it for seeding your oilseed radish while you're doing something else using your actual sewing machines. Uh, and then you can also use it to weed. Um, so gives you a bit of a bonus for what you're doing with it. 
I will go ahead and finish seeding this quick um, so we can show you what oilseed radish actually does. Alright, the uh, crop that I seeded here is ready to go um, as far as weeding goes. As you can see, it's just starting to spread out. Uh, this is the first official growth stage, which is when the weeder is supposed to be used. Uh, currently, uh, I believe you can use it in any state of growth, uh, which a big reason you would want to do that is because a weeder is a one-time purchase and you do not have to buy any fertilizer or anything for it. So when you run over it, it goes ahead and fertilizes. So let's go ahead and get this started. Turn on the seeder, or the weeder, and we'll lower it. And we'll go ahead and as you can see, it is changing the color of the ground just slightly. Um, it's very difficult to tell, um, but if you hire a worker to do it for you, um, it will be very noticeable. Uh, instead of running all the way across this field, I will just make a couple of passes here, uh, just so it is noticeable on the field. Alright, we've got that done now, and if we pull up our soil composition, you can see that now it is the medium level of fertilization uh, so you would only need to do one more thing like spray or weed again if you really want to when it grows to another point so just to review quickly um, all of these implements here are capable of adding a fertilization state into your field um, you can use weeders fertilizer spreaders, sprayers, manure spreaders, slurry spreaders, pretty much anything like that you can use to add an additional state to your fertilization in your field. Uh, in the game it doesn't really matter what you would typically do. And now we're just going to jump quickly back down to the area that I seeded some radishes or some oiled sea radishes in and we'll look at that aspect quick. Alright, so something messed up with my original recording of uh, the oil seed radishes. So I went ahead and I planted them again. And just to quickly show you what the state of the field is before I do fertilize or I do cultivate them in. As you can see Pretty much all of the field is a nice light blue uh, that shows the first fertilization state. Um, so what happens currently when you plant the oilseed radishes with the, uh, not this weeder, but the other weeder that you can actually plant with, um, it, the weeder currently fertilizes the ground as well while it's planting the oilseed radishes uh, because the Weeders are currently a bit broken. Uh, you can pretty much use them on any state of the field and they will have an impact on the fertilization state. The way that they're designed is they're supposed to work purely on the first growth state. Um, so if you really want to be cheap and use that to your advantage, you can use nothing but a weeder to fertilize your ground um, until it is the full state and then you won't have to pay any money for your fertilizer. Alright, and we'll warp through time quick to when the radishes are ready to go. Alright, the radishes are ready to go. We finally got to the point where we have some light. They did turn in the middle of the night, um, but just to sh remind you what the fertilization state looks like, um, it's on the first stage of fertilization uh, and I'm going to go ahead and cultivate them quickly. Alright, so as you can see I only did half of the field of it, um, but if you look at the fertilization state now that I applied those radishes in, it is at the second state. Um, the way that it is programmed into the game, uh, any crop that is planted that you cultivate into the ground will add to the fertilization state, uh, similar to one of the mods in Farm Simulator 15. Um, Give me a second to cultivate this in. I will show you that it is actually adding to the fertilization state of the field as well. Alright, that's probably enough. 
Um, but if we pull up this map here, and you look now, there is a nice little circle to where I cultivated. Um, so as you can see, it is adding to the fertilization state. Um, so if you buy a field and you have no interest in the crop or you don't have a header for it, um, you can go ahead and cultivate the crop in and it will add to your fertilization state. Uh, if you give me one second to hop into this tractor over here, I'll show you a bit more of the way that the, the weeder is kind of broken in the game currently. Um, as you can see, there is currently no crop in the field, uh, but the way that the game currently is running, um, I hope they'll change it since the weeder is only supposed to work for the first stage of the game. If I go ahead and drop it down and run across the ground, you can see that it is changing the uh, texture of, or the color of the field and it is adding to the fertilization state. Uh, which it should not be doing. Uh, so if we look at the map again, as you can see, uh, that area that I just ran over is now the most fertilized of the field. And if I go and run over this, I believe it's in its either second or third growth state, I can go ahead and go over it and it will change to a deeper fertilization state. And as you can see, it's still changing the color of the ground. It's a bit harder to see with all the crops on there. Uh, but I will pull up the map in a second. Right about there. And as you can see, it's still changing the fertilization state of the field. Um, so at the moment, with the way that the game is, you can use the weeder, weeder in any state of the field, whether it's not uncultivated, like this field over here, or if it is in any of the stages of the growth, or if it's ready to harvest, you can do it whenever you wish, and it will add to the fertilization state to the field. Um, as you can see here, it is still adding to the fertilization state. Uh, so if you really want to save on the money, currently you can just use the weeder um, and do all of your fertilization whenever you want. Um, but for now, we will take a quick look at how the plowing in the game works. Alright, and finally we're going to take a look at the plowing aspect of the game. As you can see here, I'm looking at the soil composition. I don't have any fertilization stuff showing, but it doesn't matter because it shows over the... Uh, it, show, it layers underneath the plowing. Um, so yeah, as you can see, all these fields here actually need plowing. Um, you need to do that once every three harvests. Um, it's always a good idea to pull up this map and check every time before you actually go to the point of seeding. Uh, the 10% is going to make a bit of a difference. Um, people are going to argue whether or not it's worthwhile or not, uh, but it's more realistic as far as needing to plow. Uh, is the whole idea with that is the more and more equipment that you run over the field the more and more compacted the soil is going to get and steadily your soil is going to produce less crop when your so when it gets more compacted so if we'll go ahead and start this quick All right, if you look there, you can see some big patches of area within the field that no longer need to be cultivated. I know it's kind of hard to see, um, but you can see a little bit right there um, that no longer needs plowing. Uh, so that's your indicator screen that will show you how you need to plow. And hopefully this tutorial has been very helpful for you. Uh, and if you have any more additional questions, please let me know. Uh, comment below, subscribe for more tutorials, uh, I will hopefully be coming out with some more soon. Uh, if you have any suggestions for them, please let me know, comment below, uh, and please like this if it's been helpful for you and help you understood or understand how the mechanics of the game work now. Thanks, bye.